could get it to myself. $200 from Moderns. Hello, everyone. I've been watching AGDQ since last year. And here's my first contribution. Oh, also, truly amazing co op by Alex and Goose. Hashtag stay true. Hell yeah. Uh, $50 uh, from, can't even pronounce this, Devengency. Watching Goose and Bass Boost uh, run this in co op is amazing. It's so entertaining. Shout out to Goose's sweater, baby. Uh, 20. Oh, yeah. What's uh, file name for this for PD, Perfect We need Dark? a PD file name. The donation incentive. Next donation. Oh, let's look. That's what street? Street 112. Street 112. All right. All right. Let's go. Is it long enough to streets? Should I put the S on there? Yeah, or? try it. Try see if you can get the S in. What is Z? <laughs> Streets that one fits. fall, baby. Right. Till the day I die. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, I gotta change my settings. I'm gonna use the 1.2 control style. 1.2 control style uh, moves with the C button rather than the analog stick. And that the head roll will be turned off, so if I'm in a stationary position, when I'm aiming or zooming in, I probably won't be doing that very much, but there won't be any like random head movement. It'll be nice and still. I'm going to turn the timer on and subtitles. Anytime you guys are ready. Three, two, one, go. This is probably the most difficult mission in the game to do, the strategy I'm gonna be using. You're gonna see one of the most well-known glitches in all of speedrunning right here where you click through this building. And this guard's gonna open the door to the programmer's office. It's a re relatively recent discovery. Yeah, yes. I <laughs> Doing that will make the programmer follow me. I don't have to wait through all his messages like as you normally would in a casual run. I'm just killing these guards to lower leg for later on. It makes the second glitch easier to do. $200 from C. Weiss. White Goose, your GoldenEye Fenwick is horrendous and you will regress to the meme shortly. The only thing that could be worse is if you had Cam Ward in the net, which thankfully you do, which you don't. Good luck from Chase and Adam I in the NHL thread. I need time for this. This is a very important part here. Nice. 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 Very nice. Beautiful. So what Brian just did there is he actually landed on the top of a pane of glass on the outside of the building, and he's able to actually log into this computer via outside. Okay, I'm in. Nice. This is the only time in the game where you can take off your uplink while you're still doing it. It's kind of fun. Oh, baby. Nice job. Nice. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> Pretty happy with that. It's really good. It's really good. So he just free falled for about three seconds, and usually people pause to set themselves up easier. But Brian just did that without a pause, which is very difficult. That's a swag strat. I probably shouldn't have done that. But <laughs> it was legit. <laughs> yeah, I think it needs to be iterated just how difficult this game is to even complete. Um, yes, um, any of these levels I have died or failed at some point during my practice sessions. Yep. So. There are literally no safe moments. Everything is, is at peril. Just 
parts a little bit of RNG here. Hopefully I can get through clean. Okay, that's good. So that door closes, me, closes in my face. I could lose potentially seven seconds because I missed the bot cycle. Near the laser grids. It's important to note that a lot of these strats are actually not what we use in the world record runs because perfect agent is so difficult. Uh, and Brian's being very safe because you can die at pretty much any moment if you get a wrong guard animation. Okay, that was okay. Yeah. Make sure those experiments are shut off there. It needs to uh, deactivate these alarms and he needs to listen to audio cues. Uh, to know whether or not he hit the right computer. Um, the deactivation computer is, is randomly set, and there's four sets of computers you can do this to. Okay, I got that one. Nice. It's important I get through here without getting stuck. This is going to be kind of hectic. Okay, nice. we're good, we're good. You see the door open? I got plenty of time here. This is insane. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Never. Wow, I have tons of time to spare. Almost too much. The bot didn't do as good of a warp. If you're slower, it tends to warp further up. You can actually walk through these lasers. Uh, it's very difficult to do, and it was discovered pretty recently, probably within the last year. I believe your eliteness discovered that trick last year, or two years ago. Oh, I don't know why I did that. I thought that was close enough here. I have seven for some donations. Sure, this is. We'll just stop at any time. Uh, yeah, you we can have twenty dollars from KK the Egyptian. Hey guys, loving the runs. And the great cause, cancer affects everyone, and my family is no exception. Couldn't help but donate after the Egypt level of GoldenEye. Shout out to Bayblaz Inc. Runners. I'll donate another 30 if I can get the entire room to say the name's Bond, James Bond, in their Sean Connery accents. At the end of this level, let's do it. Yeah, oh, really nice stage. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's go. I'm gonna use a safer strap for this basement portion of the level. This is a very difficult part. <laughs> Wait one sec, when he's on the lift, we'll do it. Down, so I'm gonna go grab some extra ammo. All right. Okay, not too bad. All right, everyone on three. One, two, three. The name's Bond. James Bond. Awesome. The boss is gonna encounter some shotgun guards in this level who do a lot of damage. And they're not nice. And one of the objectives is to kill all of them. I have to kill them all or I fail. I can skip those shock guards. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Okay. We're okay. That's okay, hell. If it's any less, I'm a little bit concerned that this is okay. Right in the head. Ah, one, one shot short. Oh, that was a little risky. Ooh. Want to get a rocket launcher? Oops. Use it for the hel uh, helicopter. There's a little trick there where the uh, 
the lights turn off and they start shooting at you, but you can actually match the, the light switch and they get blinded because they're wearing night vision goggles. And they're blinded for around 10 seconds, I think. Nice. Okay, should be good. Nice. Very nice. Great one. Great one. This is one of the harder levels. There's not much for safety on this level. I have to go fast because you'll see. There are eight total snipers in this level. I have to take that. This is a tricky part coming up. Okay, that was good. That's a tough part there. So we actually need to collect a lot of ammo here for it. Yeah, I want at least 100 or so in bullets. Okay, that's a good team. I'm gonna do a laptop throw and it's gonna kill roughly four snipers if I do it right. Uh, a little bit more in there, hopefully it's good. See objective one come up if I did it successfully. Right as I fall to go down the stairs. There it is. Nice. nice. Way to go. Way to go. This is pretty good pace here. And the hackers are taken out. The health is okay. This part could be interesting. Hopefully this door. Hopefully this door opens down here. Okay, we're good. Nice. That door is closed, and there's a guard on the other side. It's possible that I can't even get through. They'll just stand there blocking the door. It's pretty low odds, but it can happen. There's a little trick here. Instead of reloading, you can switch weapons and switch back real quick, and that'll give you a full reload without having to watch the uh, cooldown. Very nice level. Go. Yeah. I'm gonna kill this guy up here because he can block the door that I'm gonna be throwing a remote mine on later in the level. It's a slightly safe strand. Oh. I just didn't get that. Normally you would uh, reprogram the taxi to do that diversion, but if you use the bomb spy there, it takes out all those guards. Nice, that's a Very tough nice. throw there. Okay. Good go. A little bit slow there, but it's all right. There's a lot of time gonna, in this room. You're going to encounter some cloaked guards on this, this run. They're pretty difficult to see. But it's easy to see that boss just wreck them all. I'm not using my riskier strat here. Okay, I'm gonna cut this cutscene. Normally, in individual levels, we wouldn't. So I can go back and just shut the systems down for objective one. It's slightly faster in real time. Okay, an interesting fact is the uh, game time doesn't move all the cinemas on. So to actually get the cheat for the smoothie, you have to know to watch the whole cinema there while you're waiting for the safe to open the safe.
So yeah, that countdown is for when the safe opens from that decoder I put down earlier. It'll open like 10 seconds or so after the countdown is up, I believe. Enough where I can get through. Let's wait till a couple seconds left, then I'll start heading up. Be careful, this area can be pretty crazy. Come on. Yeah. Wow, that Got was him. good. That was a scary part. Okay. Only lost like a couple seconds there. All right. That was good. That was good. I think my best with that strategy is we're on a 205, so that's really good. Okay, Joanna, take a look at this. Our operative inside Area 51. I'm gonna get a couple grenades here. <laughs> yeah, that pistol whip is just as good as disarm. If you hit guards from the back, it instantly knocks them out if they're not aware of where you are. Oof. So there's some mines hidden underneath the uh, that was tight. The snow there. So first time you go through this game, you'll probably get blown up if you go that way. Kind of like the gold dragon, but a little more difficult. Okay, I'm gonna take out these lasers that appear after you plant the explosives. With that hopefully it blows up. Oh man. Didn't throw in the right spot, so the flame didn't do any damage to these lasers. I gotta lose like 10 seconds to get it back out. Okay, it's all right. Well, I'm gonna miss one of the lift cycles anyway, so I'm just gonna take this slower. I'll probably end up with around 325. Those are two of the toughest guards in the game. I just took out quickly. Nice. Yeah, that was good. There's two guards back here. That's one of them I took out. And here's the other. This guy could pull a grenade, possibly. Oh. There's a... There's a strategy on individual levels where you can actually take that out without lower, pressing that button to lower it. If you uncrouch twice from a crouch position, you can throw things higher up in the air. And you'll see that on crash site where I actually do that trick. going to kill two guards on the right side near these silver crates with this rocket. It makes the strat more consistent. I'm about to do it. It's one of the scarier parts of the run. Coming up. Don't blow that up. Okay. Sometimes that grenade in the air can blow up my dragon. He went up in the rail. <laughs> That level is like unconscionably hard to live, and Boss smoked it with amazing health. In my so. opinion, this is the hardest level. It's very long, there's a lot of RNG with the guards. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make this cycle, so I'm going to lose a bunch of time here. Uh, it's a 
from me. Oh, don't do that. I'm just gonna try to throw a grenade. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna throw a dragon here. These guards from above, there's four of them that'll come down. <laughs> there still might be one alive up here. Let me make sure. Okay. So normally you're supposed to take the freight from the beginning of the stage all the way over there to use an explosive, but you can use the dragon. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to go, because I'm a lot slower than normal here, so... Alright, that was quick there. Now, if I can convince someone to park... Normally, you'd have to go around in the hangar in the next area and go up and through the vents. But if you lure those guards, they can open the door for you to the shower area. be kind of fast for this section because there's a countdown on the bottom and if it runs out then I'll be um so I put the disguise on it'll spot me. You can take this off early. Disarm, man. It's very powerful in this game. Okay. I had plenty of time to spare. About 10 seconds. I would have to restart the mission if that counter went down to one second. So this part is very scary as well. It's some RNG here. Let's see where the guards are. Okay, they didn't come out. There's two guards on each side. They didn't come out, so I could just go through there cleanly. Dodge some shots. Oh, oh my god. kill these tranquilizer guards for safety because if they hit you, your visibility is greatly reduced. And it's harder to strafe at an optimal level. Alright, good. I'm going to train these guys. There's one. This guy. Injection pill. escort missions in this game, so the AI is not very good, obviously. We like to push them around ourselves to make them go a bit faster. 
And I'm about to push John across this wall here, <laughs> just slightly faster than just having him walk behind you. One more train guard I have to be careful of. Oh, okay, here he is. Okay, I just got him here. Right, we need There would be guards randomly coming after me and Jonathan here. It's pure RNG for this. They either come from the area I'm aiming or they can come from this door over here. <laughs> and you can blow this wall up before the explosion blows off normally. certain guard I need to kill right now to activate it. I don't know where he is. Otherwise I'll have to wait 30 seconds or so to complete. Ah, this is stupid. Oh well. That's the way it goes. Okay. That was the worst case scenario for that. It's kind of the way that goes sometimes. Uh, well, I just want to mention that we just, I just seeing a thousand dollar donation just came in. Wow. Yes. From PHLFC. My friends, grew, friends and I grew up on Perfect Earth, GoldenEye and Perfect Earth. It's great watching nostalgia come back in these runs. Congrats to all the players at, and to AGQ on their amazing effort. Next year, one million dollars. Well, they can't see me, but yeah. these guys but you can kill two of them without failing the mission it's just a lot easier to do Make sure that guy doesn't okay. occasionally that guy will shoot at you with the strat I use I can't have any guards coming after me at this point So Brian's going to use the drug spy. He's going to put it in the corner to uh, keep the elevator door from closing. It's all right. And you'll see me maintaining full speed. It's much like Goldmine, where you can it'll gain you around 0.3 seconds or so versus just standing still and accelerating. wait for the beep so I get another dragon because I just dropped off all my equipment there and that will kill two guards later on here once I do this shutdown actually the other dragon will kill two more guards so it'll kill four total with those dragons I laid earlier makes this part a lot easier and then these guys don't appear right away either because I was quick quick enough I get 
this dragon here. I'm gonna blow these guys up. Shoot the mine and then throw my proxy dragon into here. I'll take everybody out. Any guards with Avengers can kill you within half oh, a what? second. Okay. Yeah, they so can they're pretty bad. Well, you can All right. Health in one burst. Guess one of the four guards didn't die there. Got kind of lucky. This is good. Anything at a 250 yeah. is very wow. good. There's actually two spots you can exit that level. Ryan chose the one that's advantageous to the, the following level. Yeah, unlike Goldeneye, there's actually a little bit of routing in a Perfect Dark full game speedrun because on this level, on this series of three levels, uh, certain things you do on the level prior will affect what happens on the next level. Um, you're gonna see Boss is gonna come here and he's gonna lower a hover bike, which is going to uh, give him an advantage on the next level. Looks like I spotted me, now this guy will be alerted. Always around five seconds. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I'm gonna call this lift down. Now I'm gonna hug it. hover bike. It's the hover bike switch. I have to wait here for this lift to close. If you lose eyesight with the president, you'll fail the mission. But you can go anywhere where you can still see his face. Okay, I'm gonna use a safety strat here. I'm gonna kill these two guys that just spawn out of nowhere. Turn around, and there'll be one guy in here. I'm gonna do the timeline early. Normally you would do it at the end of the mission. So at this point, I only have a certain amount of time to beat the level or else the plane will crash. So I have to be fast. My borrowed time. and he's gonna go to the skate pod because I entered that room before the skate pod. So it should complete. You'll see objective three come up here. There it is. In the world record videos, you'd use the combat boost if you have two of them. And they actually slow down uh, real time, but that's obviously not the objective here. portion of this level quite a bit faster than on, than on foot. I want to get this K7. Okay. I can be kind of tricky to get. That was a good pickup. If I miss that initially, it's like a three or four second loss to go back and get it again. There's the escape pod. This guard's some bad RNG here. Usually he won't be there, but it's all right. It's only like a couple seconds lost or so. Gotta make sure the president moves there. If you don't look at him, he'll just stand there. Good luck there. Kill two of those three guys coming after me. Yes, this is going well. I'm gonna wait till the president gets near the top here. 
So we're gonna head near Elvis and the saucer. I go around this rock. So we'll be looking for objective five to pop up. Make sure he gets there safely. Did he come up yet? <laughs> I might have to turn back here, but I'm gonna do this first. And I'm not gonna blow that up yet, because if I do, there's blonde guards below. Oh, there it is, nice. <laughs> I don't know why That's it was odd. so slow. That's really odd, okay. Yes! Nice. So he used the ducking trick to throw that mine over a wall you couldn't normally throw it over, and it just happens that the uh, president's down there saving a long journey to the bottom of the level. Hey, that guy can shoot through that wall there, so... I think he reacted as late as he did. And he did a kneeling animation. If he just extended his arms... If he did the arm extension animation there, I may have died. So getting that kneel animation was very lucky there. This is a difficult level as well. It's here. like a million years in this level. Okay. I'm killing him because he can trigger the alarm if he's alerted. Killing as many alarm guards as I can. Oh, I don't know why that door is open. That's unfortunate. I just hope the alarm doesn't go off. It could. I'm not really sure. That's rare stuff right there. But I'm gonna just go through. All right. I gotta punch. I have to punch these scientists out to get these data disks. All right, that was good. I'm gonna end bomb this area while Joanna does her message. Ah, I didn't get this skip. So let's be leg of the game around that part and skip part of that message. Okay, good. That, that camera could have spotted me. The alarm would have went off. Well, that was quick enough. So those end bombs make guards dizzy and disarm them. And I see what happened to you. If you don't get Very difficult push to level in a normal individual level attempt. These guards have insane accuracy, every one of these guards in this area. Three left. Elvis will be back here. Normally you're not supposed to be able to do that right there. You normally go all the way around because this yellow area, the tons of guards that you would normally go through. Pretty good.
So I'm letting Elvis kill several of these cloaked guards. I'm hoping from this guy over here that he drops proximity mines. And he did. Oh boy. Come on, Elvis. Be nice. Oh, come on. All right. There they are. Sometimes there can be like duplicate guards in that area. Unfortunately, there isn't in this one. Be careful not to kill all this here. I'm gonna throw two proximity mines down here. We're gonna kill two cloak guards that appear as I go into this portal up ahead. Makes the ending a lot more consistent. This will help us to get around the ship. If there's any donations, now would be a good time. Alright. Uh, we have a $25 donation from Nanobot. Fantastic HDQ again. I wish I had a had had the farsight to have watched more on my laptop gun. Oh well, perfect dark is brilliant. I hope Bossman gets there on the perfect line to nail the 112. <laughs> uh, we have an anonymous fifty dollars donation. This is my second time watching SDA speedruns. I'm loving the commentary, good causes, and camaraderie. Keep up the good entertainment and for a good cause. Uh, fifty dollars from Keanu Laszlo. I'm butchering that. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, GDQ, donate again. I forgot to leave a message last time. I've had some friends diagnosed with different types of cancer a few years ago. One was, one was able to fight it out, while the other one was unfortunately wasn't. Thanks for what you guys are doing. Or thanks for what you guys can't talk. Thanks for doing what you guys do. Heart. A uh, hundred and fifty dollar donation from Tiro. Happy to see you playing Goose, even if this isn't Mario sixty four. Here's a good uh, run, and happy to contribute to the fight against cancer. Uh, we have a very generous. Oh, one more. Uh, $500 donation from Dano84. <laughs> Representing the Great White North, you guys are amazing. Let Alex and Ryan decide where it goes. Ooh. I used to think I was so good at Bond. Thanks for that. <laughs> Much love from Dano and Cole in Calgary, Canada. As you just saw there, I had to pause for that backup disc. That's the only point in this game where you have to do a pause to win. Any other pauses, unintentional. <laughs> Anything under four minutes is pretty damn good there. Like the only unskippable cinema in the world. Yeah, I can't skip this really. cinema, unfortunately. I can skip can part of it. The high res explosion All right. Already, John. Joanna, we're under attack. Get the guns back online. Hurry. The auto defense can really help me out. You can mash A to get these buttons. Or B button, rather. There we go. Get them and hostages. Get up to the offices and save them. Confirmed. I'll have to go carefully. And this is another level where normally you'd use the combat boosts to beat it. But I'm going to save all these guys without using combat boosts. It's a bit risky. Thanks for coming back from 
one more hostage in here. Take these three guys out. If you stand close enough to a guard, they'll try to punch or kick you instead of shooting. And with K7 guards, you definitely want to. It's much better to have them shoot. The secondary function this gun enables me to be cloaked at the cost of ammo. That's insane. Oh, really good. Good. Times with that strategy, actually. Ooh, that was almost too early. You can see there, if you you can open stuff through walls on this game. There's certain doors and lifts that you can do that. Sometimes that skier will come down. Fortunately, I just spun around the top area. Really. That hit is pretty normal. Right. I have to kill around six of these to get our hanger for the lift to come down. Oh, bad animations. I'll have to wait a few seconds for them to spawn. Pretty good for that. The slow animations get 124. The charged mauler is like insane power. If you hit him in the head with fully charged mauler shot, it takes him out. With the assault rifle, it's around 15 shots, 10 to 15, I'd say. I'm gonna wait here to make sure Elvis follows this pathway. There's two ways to get up to this next section. I'm doing quick reloads because they're slightly quicker. This gun. It's worth noting on this level that um, the world record for this level, attack ship perfect agent, uh, was set in 2005 by a fellow named Funky Buddha, and it was 312, 3 minutes 12 seconds, and it stood for eight years, um, which is insanely long for a world record in any video game, until Boss actually beat it um, in 2013 with a, with a 311. Yeah, Pal is slightly advantaged just toward the end of the level. A ran amount of time, you have to wait for these three Skeeter to grow. Nice. Easy. Just want to get double maulers here. But this is the part where Pal is, on average, quicker. Plus wait time. If you have donations, it would be a good time. All right. Uh, we have a $10 NP3 cent donation from Anonymous. It's always awesome to see a group 
see people group together for a good cause. Thanks for taking the time to put together a marathon and all and all thank you to all those who participated. Always awesome to see my boy R White Goose on the couch. The goose gets to choose who this goes. That's uh, nice. So there's 10 possible combinations for these pillars. Special pillars. And I got, what did I get? And I got a bad combination. There's six bad ones and four good ones. So I have to go with the farthest possible one. Actually, the two farthest ones. That's all right. Don't get a heart attack here. This gets kind of intense. I'm going to run back through all these either. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It can be a lot more than that. It's actually pretty good. Oh. It's okay. So what he just did, you're not supposed to be able to do that. But we figured out how to. There's also a trick where you can walk across that gap without the bridge, but it's very technical. Offer one of your weapons here. I'm gonna choose the Falcon 2. Oh, open door, nice. It's, all these, some of these doors randomly get stuck because they're yeah, opening the or closing. Doors level are your RNG, believe it or not. Oh no! Get on! Take two of these out at the same time with the proper aim. And I got two there. I'm not supposed to be able to do that normally. I'm gonna try this trick here if I can get two here. Ah! Oh, almost got two here. This is close. Alright, that's good. I have to reset the game. Okay. There's no way. There's no way to advance the credits there, so the only way to get to the bonus levels is to reset. So in these bonus levels, you don't play as Joanna, you actually play as other characters from the story. So in this mission, we'll be playing as Mr. Blonde. He was a little bit taller than Joanna, and that can lead to a few extra tricks you can do on this level that you couldn't have. I believe he moves slightly faster, because he's taller. The taller you are, he can also make can himself move. invisible, too. If you have any more donations, I'll make it to Oh, well, let's see. Looks like we have, wow, a $1,550 donation. Wow, yes. This is gonna hurt me. Uh, from Berry Tube Rainbow Jack. Greeting from the land of ponies, friends, and booze. This is Berry Tube checking in for a community donation. We're going to spend this money on alcohol. We were going to spend this money on alcohol. Decided it would be better use. And believe me, coming from us, that means a lot. Thank you all for your efforts to stop this horrible beast known as cancer. Hopefully, one day, uh, with everyone's help, it will be eradicated. Put this towards re renaming Alia in to Barry in Chrono Trigger. In all seriousness, you have our sincere support oh, and that admiration. That was huge right there. She could have went behind the ramp, and that would have lost massive time. Anyway, oh. from all of us at Fairy Tube, keep up the awesomeness. Well, the next mission line SOS, the game thought it was a good idea to start you with about one quarter health. 
It's half health. Half health. What the hell? So I can only take three hits without dying from the dragon. So the idea here is to gradually accumulate ammo. So there's a saucer later on that I need to blow up, and I'll need at least 45 bullets to do that. in there. Okay. All right. This is one of the scariest parts of the game. Oh, I missed that. Wow. Oh. If I would have, I, I was home free there too. I just need to get that disarm. It's unlucky. Yeah. When you're in the, in the red, the guards' reactions increase considerably. It's amazing boss made it that far without dying. Yeah. Like, that was this, the first death there. This game is so difficult. By the way, I've only had maybe four or five deathless runs in all my practice. So it would have been a pretty insane feat. Try it. It's probably 50 50 at this point. Okay, got him. That turn's good. I wait till about 120 or so here, because I'm timing the first lift. There, I got him that time. That was. are all on a set timer. So we can plan out our walking cinemas and stuff so we can manipulate them to the ground. Yep. Oh, very yep. nice. <laughs> nice. So this is the final level in the game. Probably the most random level, or one of the most random anyway. And I'm gonna spend a few seconds here to so the skier can advance. There's four of them that'll be in the level at any point. Up to four. It's a good set. There'll be one coming up here around the corner. Okay. Pretty good luck so far. Okay. 
Yeah, those random doors. Every door in this level can randomly get stuck as it's opening. It's okay. I only want to kill one of these, so then there's only one after this next door. Yeah, this part is... I'm gonna skip this guy. Oh, nice. That's not gonna go any better. So there's some skitters that spawn at the end of the level after you kill the second. Ah, missed the quick kill. If you're the third and out of order, they won't spawn there. All right, nice. And nice. time. What's my time? 58, 35. Wow, nice. that's Wow. That was my goal, and I did it. I'm so happy. <laughs> Man, let's see what the time is. 54:11 mission. Go through these levels, see what I got. That's pretty standard. Standard. Normally, I'd want to get around two minutes or a little bit under there, but I took it really safe in the basement. And that's a standard time with the six. Chicago mid 40s would be good. But that's a good time in there. Six. Or G5. It's a very good infiltration. Kind of a sloppy rescue escape. Had to wait for the med pack. The airbase was really good. The first one was alright. Yeah, I crashed. So if the present would have completed properly, there, I would have probably gotten high two teens, maybe 220. P2, that's pretty good. It's a very good deep scene. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I played really well on these later levels. It's my bread and butter, these last five or so levels. All right, that's it. Way to go. Yeah. Great, great work. Great work. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, are we doing that G multi? All right, while they're setting up for the next game, we're gonna run a quick commercial break, so uh, stay with us and